Hi, and welcome to another C++ programming tutorial from Someone9031. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you guys um, about enumerations in C++. So to understand why we need enumerations, first let's take a look at this very simple class I've just written called Rectangle. So it's very simple. It has two private member variables, length and width, both doubles and then a constructor that sets both of them to zero destructor two void methods set length set width each taking a double argument and then two double methods get length and get width you can see the definitions here just one line of code each down here we create a rectangle called R um, we set the length of it to three set the width to two print everything out so uh, let's build the program and try it out. So here we go. Length of R is 3, width of R is 2. Um, very predictable. You know, it's what we want. S now, what if we wanted to have this rectangle contain a color like so we can make a green rectangle or a yellow rectangle or a black rectangle so how would we do that now there's one solution to this we could have like int color and then we'd make up like a color code like black equals zero white equals one blue equals two red equals three green equals four and so on so we could do that so color equals zero um, and then we can have one called void set color take an int not a double and then we can have a int get color so let's uh, define them down here void rectangle Set color int c um, color equals c and then int rectangle uh, get color um, return color. So yeah, we could do it like this. So then we can come down here, r dot set color, color, uh, say one, set it to one. I think I said that was white, so we can make a white uh, rectangle, and then see out color of r, r dot get color. So yeah, let's run this program now. See how it works. So here we go. Length of R is three, width of R is two, color of R is one. So yeah. So that seems like a good solution at first, but it's really not a very good solution because you have to like remember all the codes all the color codes like what color is what number and stuff if we get into big stuff big like lots of colors there's way too much to remember so that's not a very good solution now there is another solution we could use that but then we could have like global variables or stuff um called like black and then set it to, set it to zero uh constant white equals one const int blue equals two and so on but you know that's not very good either because you might end up having a lot of code down here so now C++ provides us with one thing to help us along here it's called an enumeration or an enum so to declare an enumeration so first you put enum e-n-u-m and you can give it a name. Uh, this can be anything. They usually capital though, so I'm gonna do that. Color. I'm gonna name it color, and then open 
brace. Now, what an enumeration is, is an enumeration is basically sort of like a class and a structure in that it allows you to create your own data type. But you can't like really put like methods and stuff in here or like doubles. You can just have like all the values that color can be, that any uh, variable of the type color can be. So within these curly braces, you put every single uh, uh, value that a color variable can have. So black, and then you put a comma after each one, white, uh, blue, yellow, red, green, green, and purple. And then after the last one, you don't put a comma, you put the closing curly brace, and then just like with a class, you put a semicolon. So now we can have, we can use the color enum as a uh, variable, sort of like int. So you just go color and then call it my color. And here you do my color equals black. So it's just that simple. You can go just use all these values. You can set it. Just use it just like an ordinary variable, except the only values it can contain are these values right here. And then uh, set color will now take the color. And get color will now return color, not int. So set color, color, C. Um, just just like before, my color equals C, and then color return my color. And then here, instead of passing in one, we could pass in like blue. And then yeah, let's run the program and see uh, what happens. So yeah, just let it build. So as you can see here, we have length is 3, width is 2. Now color, we expect to see blue, because our enumeration had blue in it, and then we set color to blue. But now instead of blue, it says 2. Now why is that? Well, that's because an enumeration is basically backward compatible with an integer. This, all of these are basically just integers. The first value that you provide for an enum is always set to zero. And then each one after it is one more. So white, as you can see, is one. Blue is two. Yellow is three. Red is four. Green is five. And purple is six. Now when you print out an enum, it will not print out the actual name. It will print out the integer value. It's basically, basically it's an array of integers. But yeah, you can use like this name for it. It was, it's basically just exactly like um, those constant integers we used, except it's a lot easier to manage and stuff. And also, you can you don't have to like stick with uh, each one is one greater. You can like uh, set it yourself. You can go say white is nine, then so black is still zero, but now white is nine, and then every one after it is one more. Let's say red is now say. 320. Then green would be 321. Purple would be 322. So basically, yeah, and an enumeration is basically sort of like an array of integers. And when you print them out, it will be an integer. But it, you know, it's just a lot easier to use than an array and stuff. So uh, basically, that's it for enumerations uh, for now. I think I might come back to this, you know, later on. We'll be using this a lot in our classes, and uh, yeah, if you like this video, please subscribe, rate, and if you have any questions about this or any other C++ uh, topic, feel free to uh, leave a comment or message me, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching.